pain. And so I was excited to kind of do a new template for you. So I'm gonna look and say hi to everybody who's on here. Uh, Judy Lynn, Barbara, Marilyn's on here, Sylvia. Hello, everybody. Oh, Diana. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy to see everybody. Susan from, from New York. Hello, Thelma, we got our craft room today and didn't do anything we needed some of your mojo. Well, I am here to deliver some mojo, Thelma and Susan. I'm excited. This was so cool. So um, before I really get started, I just want to say thank you for joining me for my last live. Um, it was so much fun and it was a very overwhelming experience to be able to see all of you joining me. So thank you for doing that and for leaving comments and for chatting with me, it just means so much. And um, I just, the Moonlight Crafter, hi Sherry. Sherry's in here, hello. Sherry's on my team. And she is the Moonlight Crafter and Sherry is now doing videos too. So we'll have to share uh, Sherry's link so you can check her out. Um, but I'm so happy that all of you guys are here and it's so fun to see like customers, family, friends, demonstrator peers, team members, um, it is so cool. Jolie, hello, and Brenda, Carol York, and Deborah from Tampa. So I have to tell you, it is raining cats and dogs here. It has been raining for like three days straight, maybe even four, I'm not sure. So you guys are probably wondering, well, what have y'all been doing? Well, I've been inside crafting, and my 10-year-old has been outside in the rain for the past three days. And so we continue to dry shoes as he, he's only got like three pairs of shoes. So we dry the shoes and then <laughs> they go back out in the rain. And then I look out to see how he's doing and he's stomping in mud puddles, you know. Um, so it has just been raining like crazy. Um, but I think hopefully the sun will come out this weekend and uh, we can enjoy a three day weekend. I also kind of look at it like more crafting time, <laughs> right? So let's see, let me just say, hey, Tanya, thanks for drop, dropping in here. Dylan Cox, hey, Dylan, thanks for saying hi. That's my 10-year-old who's out in the rain at the neighbor's house. He got a little dinger that his mom is live. <laughs> so that leads me to, if you, um, if you subscribe to my channel and you click the little bell, this is what my 10-year-old told me, that's how he knows, Click the little bell, and then when I go live, you'll be notified. And so, um, so make sure that you do that and subscribe to Brandy's Cards. I truly appreciate that. And um, so that's pretty cool. Um, and Anne, Trisha. Okay, so it looks like we've got quite a few people here with us, and I am so excited to get started. Like I said earlier, this was a tutorial that I shared back in 2013. Yes, that was like seven years ago. Um, and so I am so excited. I have created like four or five different versions of this card and I really am excited to share it with you. Um, so I changed some things up and I tried to think outside of the box and I fixed my tutorial. <laughs> so now we have a super good, fun tutorial. So I'm excited. You guys will be able to download that and uh, I will have a post that goes live as soon as this is done. So you'll be able to go over there and check that out. Okay, so are you guys ready for me to hop on over next door? Hi, Sh Sandy Armstrong. Oh my goodness, Sandy, I'm so excited you're gonna join us for the Creative 8 retreat. Yes, I'm super excited about that. Hi, Tanya. Our boys have been camping in the backyard since we've not been able to go camping. Shh, because my son would want to do that too. <laughs> and it is raining out there. Uh, but that's awesome. How fun for them to do that. That's cool. Okay, so I'm going to jump next door here to where I'm going to film my card. And stick with me. I've got some really cool cards that you guys have sent me. And I am I love them. I keep them on display. But I am taking those cards and I'm going to share them with all of you because there's so much inspiration there. And then I'm going to show you some of the cards that I created with this tutorial. All right, so here we go. I'm going to jump over next door here. And let me pull up my chair. Okay, 
So this is one of the cards. This is not the card we're gonna create today, but this is one of the cards that I created using this braided card template. Now, let me tell you, it is so much fun and it is fantastic. And so do you see when you open it up? Yeah? Oh my goodness, it's so cool. Now it looks intimidating, sure does. And it looks like, yikes, I can't do that. You can totally do this. And I have a template like I had shared before. And so you're gonna be able to download this template on brandyscards.com. And in the search bar, if you can't find this, this, is, this video is from, what is it? May 21st, 2020. And so you can type in there, braided card template. Now this fabulous fern is from one of our new stamp sets. Now this is called the Forever Fern Stamp Set. I absolutely love this set. Now, can you guys see this? This is one of our distinctive sets. I'm gonna bring my computer over so I can see a few comments here. You remember the card I did make it a few years ago. Is that right, Vicki? Oh, that is so cool. Well, I was gonna pull it up and print a picture of that card, but time got away from me, so I didn't have a chance to do that. But um, this is the Forever Fern Stamp Set. It is in the new catalog. You'll see it's the dis uh, distinctive stamp. Now, our distinctive stamps, I love them because you just have to ink it up once and stamp it, and oh my gosh, it is just brilliant. It is so pretty, and it's gonna show you so much depth. So this stamp set is fantastic, and it is gonna be available coming up here really soon, all right? You've done this card so many times, it's so simple. Susan, it is super simple, and that is why I'm excited to share it, um, because it can just be so much fun. All right, so here we go. What we're gonna do is I am not gonna actually show you the card I make that we're gonna be making. We're just gonna make it, and then I'll show it to you. All right, so you'll see the finished product. Okay, so when you print your template, this is what it's gonna look like. So what I recommend is just kind of cutting in on it. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut down this line right here. All right, so you're gonna cut straight down here, just like that, all right? And so then what I did is I left, you know, you could honestly kind of cut along this line here but I'm just gonna kinda go ahead and snip up this direction. So that is, my, that is my template, that is it, all right? So I'm gonna set that aside. I kind of like to use my big scissors when I cut these templates. It just seems a little, little bit easier. So now what we're gonna do is for today's card, I have Garden Green, I have Pretty Peacock, and some Whisper White, that's it. I've got Garden Green ink, and I have Pretty Peacock ink. So we're gonna go ahead and fold our Whisper White um, cardstock, all right? And so then what we're gonna do is you guys have seen, because I think I showed this last week, this is one of our new um, embossing folders. It's also one of my host code gifts. So with a May order, this is one of the gifts that you can select. And so I thought, well, this is just such a fabulous texture that we're gonna use this today. So what you're gonna do is I would say, just fold your paper in half. This is the um, Thick Whisper White. I told you guys last week that I used it for the first time and fell in love. And now I just ordered like 10 packs. True story. Well, that's because I'm gonna be making lots of these cards because anybody who plays the host code order in May is gonna get one of these. So I have been working hard on these. Um, okay, so we've got our greenery here, right? Our embossing folder. And so we're just putting it so that it's in the crease, right? And then you've got your platform and then you have your 3D embossing plate. And we are gonna run that through the Big Shot. Okay. <laughs> so we have run that through the Big Shot. And now I am gonna come over here and grab the finished product. All right. So that's what I like about these like um, smaller 3D um, embossing folders is they're just, um, you know, they're not as big as the, the wide ones. So you can kind of do like a really pretty texture and I love how this hasn't been touched, right? So it just adds a really cool look. What do you guys think? 
because of you, I ordered some thick. Is that right, Cindy? You're going to absolutely love it. And you're, you're going to want to, uh, to order more. It's fantastic. All right. Hi, Priscilla. I'm so glad that you are on here with us. Um, I'm just kind of looking over the comments and see if anybody has any comments. So Gertie is on my grandma Gertie. Now, some of you had watched a video with grandma Gertie and Tyler, my oldest, just got Gertie on with us. And so grandma Gertie is watching back home in Michigan. And this is the first time she's gotten on live. So you guys could say hi to Gertie. Um, we need to tell her that we need to do another video next time we can get together. Um, so here we go. So we have the top of our template and we have the bottom. So what you're going to do is you are going to fold it over right here. Okay. And then I just take a paper clip, super easy. And then you're going to flip it around, right? You're going to flip it around. All right. Let me try this one more time. I kind of put it to the wrong spot. There we go. Top of the card. Hello. All right, so then we're gonna flip it down here and we're gonna fold it underneath. And once we do that, we're gonna put our paper clip here. And now what I do, because you, it's hard for me to, you know, I wanna cut this direction. So I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna flip my card upside down. And I am gonna start cutting from this direction here. All right. And so what you're gonna do, just making sure you can see me okay, is cut up on each one of these lines. All right. And we're gonna just kind of cut up on these lines. Here we go. And it's really easy. You're basically cutting along the fold of the card, right? And so the line is, along, is flush along the edge of the card. And we are going to just cut all the way up. And we've got just two more to go. <laughs> there we go. We got one more. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to flip this over and we are going to take our template off. All right. So this is what you end up with. So you have your template. This guy is trash now. We don't need this anymore. So we're going to throw that guy away. And what we're going to do is we're going to open up our card. Do you see that? How cool is that? Isn't that fun? And then here's the other side. It's kind of like, I don't know what you want to call that, but that just looks really cool. All right. So here you go. This is important, guys. What you're going to do is right here, this bottom corner. Hello. Hello, Charlotte. Thanks for popping on here. Oh my goodness. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to fold down this bottom one. This is really important. All right. So this guy, so when you look at your card, you'll know the top and the bottom because the bottom has this full triangle right here. See that, that full triangle piece right there. And then this piece is a little bit thinner here at the top. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to fold this down and then you are going to snip off this piece right here. Now don't throw that piece away. And if you get a little wonky, you might just need to fix it. It's kind of a weird angle. Um, so take your time here. And what you'll notice is you'll have to do a couple. So I would say, you know, take some scrap paper. If you have some like copy paper, that's what I generally do when I am doing different folds and things. And so here you go. Do you guys see this? This is the crease. The idea is, is we're going to fold this crease back and we want it to go on top of the crease underneath it. There we go. Do you see that? So now you've got the beginning of your braid and there's the second piece and right on top of the braid. All right. And then we have another one. It is so much fun to do. Let me tell you, it's like instantly gratifying. It's like, oh my gosh, that is the coolest. Barbara, I am so glad you found me too. Thank you for, for jumping on with us today. It is so fun to have everybody here with us. All right, so you guys see that? That's pretty easy, right? Super fast, super easy. So now what I'm gonna do is you can kind of prep, you know, prep your folds here and kind of push them down. 
Now, one thing is, is remember we have this piece, all right? So this piece, you're gonna kind of give him a good bend, and this piece is gonna go right there at the top. So that piece is gonna finish off your braid. And so what we've got, we've got some glue here, I've got some liquid adhesive, and I'm just, whoa, that was not a little bit. Holy moly, holy moly, holy moly. So I'm gonna use my template and just wipe some of that off. Got a little crazy there. You guys might be laughing at me, but I know you all have done it. <laughs> right? We have all gotten a little sporty with the glue before. Okay, so here we go. So we're gonna take this guy here and we are just gonna put it, and what you wanna do is you want it to be flush with the top of your card, just like that. See that there? Perfect. I'm just gonna hold it there for a second, just so that I make sure it gets nice and glued down. Debbie from Pensacola, sunshine. Awesome, 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 awesome. Okay, so now we have, we have our braid. So what do you guys think? Do you guys like it? Oh, I hope you do. I hope that you think that is super cool. It is so easy and I would love for you guys to give this a try. Not to mention, I'm using the greenery embossing folder that's, due in the new, that's um, gonna be available in the new catalog, but you can use any embossing folder that you would like. Um, so I think that's kind of cool. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do just a wee bit of stamping, not a whole lot. So like I told you before, I have um, some garden green here and I've got my Fern stamp set, and, and I did show you guys that's from the Forever Fern, which is the new set out of the um, new Stampin' Up! catalog. And so I am gonna stamp this guy right there, straight down and straight up. Perfect. Okay, so now I wanna tell you that <laughs> you guys have probably done this too. So I mounted my Hello. And I don't know if you can see this, but um, I should have taken a wee bit more time to mount the hello, because now it's kind of going down on a slope. And so it's a little bit, um, it's throwing me off a little bit. So if it's a little wonky, um, you have to forgive me. Um, so we will hope for the best because my sticker is not mounted correctly. Um, so let's see, let me focus, focus. Oh, it's like when you commit, you have to commit. That's pretty good, that worked out pretty good. It's one of those things where it's like, you have to commit. You can't stutter, just gotta go for it. Just gotta go, just gotta go. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, you guys see me do this quite frequently. I like to take the mats and I like to put dimensionals behind my layers. And I do that on purpose because I want it to kind of pop up um, 3D and I want it to kind of, you know, kind of take the glory of, of being matted and having that dimension. So, all right, so why don't you fold the braids in each other, into each other this time? Oh, well, we can try something different for sure. Absolutely. I love the idea. I'm, I've made plans for using braided technique. Oh, that's awesome, Carol. I'm excited you're gonna give it a try. So much fun. Oh my goodness, it's so much fun. All right, so we just centered and adhered the um, peacock. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little wee bit, yes, I'm not gonna go as crazy with the old glue. <laughs> that was crazy. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add it right here to the top, okay? So we are well on our way, right? So that's straight, I believe, right? Can you guys see that good? All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I am gonna add this to the top of our card. So I'm just putting a little bit of glue here and I'm gonna add it right here to the center. Well, to the top, to the top. And what I like to do for me is I like to kind of, if I've got a half of an inch here, I like a half of an inch here and almost a half of an inch here. So I kind of like to center it so that it has the same amount of space and it's kind of more towards the top. So there you go. All right, so one of my favorite retiring items is the Noble Peacock Rhinestones. These guys are the bomb. 
and unfortunately they're retiring so but if you haven't ordered any they're four dollars and maybe 40 cents right now something like that so uh, definitely make sure you get yourself some noble peacock rhinestones they are just so pretty oh i'm sad to see those go but make sure you get yourself some of those they are fantastic now here we go i actually um let me show you this you guys use crystal effects before shimmery crystal effects this stuff is like awesome so crystal effects is like a it's like a lacquer like a shiny lacquer let me check over here to comments <laughs> you thought that you were the only one that messed up my stickers up oh no 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 it happens to all of us <laughs> sure let's see lisa hi lisa was playing with my son and lost track of time lovely card thank you lisa i'm so glad that you popped in here and and uh, are joining us all right so i've got some shimmery crystal effects now this stuff has like some glitter in it it seems like and um, so what i'm going to do is i kind of want that wet look now i will tell you that i saw this idea from my team member sherry from moonlight crafters who's on here and i will share the link to her channel she did one of these adorable cards and um, it had the boots in it. I can't remember the name of that stamp set, but it had the boots and she took the rubber boots and put crystal effects on them. And oh my goodness, they looked wet. They looked fantastic. So I was like, you know, I want my leaves to kind of look wet. Now, one thing that I really liked is this crystal effects really pops the color. It really makes the color a bit deeper. Um, and so it's just beautiful, really is. Now, let me tell you, this is going to take a wee bit of time to dry. You could certainly use a heat tool on it if you wanted to, but you guys see how that looks wet? Oh, that's so cool, isn't it? I love glitter and gooey stuff. I don't like messy stuff necessarily, but I do like to craft with some like glitter and gooey type glue stuff so i just thought that was super fun right okay so that is the card that i will be sending you for your may order so i hope you guys like it what do you guys think i'm gonna go over here yes priscilla that's right it's called under my umbrella that was the stamp set that sherry used that's exactly right um all right well i hope that you guys like this card and so let me show you the one that i showed you originally now this one you can see here that i did not emboss the cardstock and so this one i did and then this one i cut the paper so that it was you know the whole length of that uh, of the five and a half all right so the crystal effects you haven't used it in a long time oh it's awesome you remember when we used to stamp on tiles and then use the crystal effects to like set it it's pretty fabulous um all right so i'm excited i'm going to show you guys some more ideas so I'm going to set those guys aside. Let me set those aside and show you some of the other cards. Hang tight with me. I have to kind of come over here and grab them. All right, so I'm going to grab the new designer paper because the next one I did, here we go. This is called Forever, let's see, Forever Greenery Designer Series Paper. Oh my gosh, you guys are going to die. This paper is amazing, amazing. So, so pretty and um, forever greenery. I mean, talk about knocking it out of the park. Is that not just stunning? And then of course, let's flip this guy over and let's see the other side. So pretty, so pretty. All right, so look at that. Is that not fantastic? So if you're not, you know, if you, if you like kind of more of a tight pattern and um, of course, look at that. That is awesome, I love that. And so, or if you like kind of the greenery and the leaves, I love how the, um, you know, this has one of our new colors in it, uh, the jade and the just jade, as well as pear pizzazz, I believe is in there, um, garden green and some pretty peacock, just stunning. Okay, so what I decided was that I would um, take my designer series paper and let me grab the card. And I thought, you know what, what if we made a braid out of the designer series paper so this is me just kind of playing and coming up with ideas to share with you guys 
And so what I did is I cut my designer series paper five and a half, um, yes, five and a half by eight and a half. And I just did it like a normal card, right? And then what I ended up doing is I actually did another white one and I stuck it inside. The only problem is, and I'm gonna show you because I didn't actually try it a second time, but you know, this, the designer series paper isn't terribly sturdy. So that's why um, I decided to do the white piece, but make sure that it's flush inside your crease when you put it in there. Um, otherwise it's kind of, it's not terrible, but as you can see, it definitely has a bit of a gap. So rookie mistake there. Um, well, hello, cutting up with Kathy. Kathy, I'm so glad that you are on here with us. You've been having fun with crystal effects too. That makes me so happy. Well, Kathy is also on my team and, um, I'm just so happy that you are on here and Kathy, you have a blog too. So we'll have to share that as well. That's fantastic. So glad you're here and uh, would love to see some of your cards using the um, crystal effects. All right, so anyway, give this DSP a try. I just cut out some of the little leaves, some of the little leaves. Now, you know, do I love this card? Mm, not necessarily, I don't love it, but I don't dislike it. And I think that you could totally have fun playing. And so this is the other side of the designer paper. Now, what I really did like is, I took some designer paper, okay? And so this is five and a half, and this is four. And I scored it down the middle. And then what I did is I literally did the template. This is my crease, right? And I did another template. This one's got my spoogie, sorry about that guys. And I just folded my card and I cut it just like we did our cardstock. Um, you said, the way I learned this is to tuck the points into each of the previous braids. Yeah, absolutely, if you wanted to tuck it in the other way, absolutely. Um, I like to do it on the outside too, so I think there's lots of different ways that you can do it for sure. Um, okay, so you're gonna cut in as well, and then you're gonna braid your card, and check this out. So let me show you. Um, this is um, two pieces of Whisper White, and I actually just glued them in here to make a four and a quarter card. So it, you could glue them inside, right? Or you could take a piece of white cardstock, actual card, and you could braid it, and then you could glue it on the outside. But here's what it looks like. Now this card's not finished, but oh, am I excited to play with it. So this is braided, and it's this DSP right here, right? And then on the inside, you have your pattern. Isn't that fun? What do you guys think? Oh my goodness. It is so beautiful. And again, all I did was just braided the designer paper. Now I like to kind of save my paper and I don't like to use a lot of it at any one time. So that's why I was trying to come up with a way to create this lovely braid and not use quite as much paper. And so, um, you know, and like I said, you could take and that braid and put it inside there and then you've got a white inside. Or maybe you take a different color cardstock and put the cardstock in there so you have a different color peeking through the braid. Oh yeah, now we're talking. <laughs> could you use two pieces of DSP together so that the braid would show the DSP on both sides? Um, I would think so, yeah. I mean, it's just so much fun. So much fun. Okay, so let me show you the next card that I made. You know, I'm just gonna show you this. This is just bashful blue, um, not bashful blue, that's an old color. Um, this is balmy blue. And you know, I just did the braid and like um, one of the comments was you could tuck it inside as well. So you can go either way on your braid if you wanted to. You know, I haven't tried tucking it on the inside, but it can absolutely be done. All right, okay, so here's the next card. So those of you that loved the March Paper Pumpkin, and you guys are like, oh, I love the raindrops from that March Paper Pumpkin. Do you guys remember? They were fabulous. And so unfortunately, we don't have those available. Um, and so what I decided, I hope that you guys can see those. I'm gonna move around here so you can kind of see them. So what I did, as I took my shimmery crystal effects 
and I basically took a piece of card, you know, my paper, and very lightly, I just kind of pushed some and then flipped. And I pushed it and flicked down. And so it totally looks like those little um, raindrops. Now, you can't get too, you can't squeeze too hard and get too, bag of, too big of a, like, you know, too big of a spot because if you do then you got a really big raindrop so then you got like you know you got storm but um but if you keep it if you keep it little um you get these really fabulous little raindrops and i also took and um colored the umbrella the umbrella is colored with the crystal effects and you check out the braid yeah look at that so i took the braid and I took the crystal effects and colored the braid. Now I didn't do the bottom layer, I just did the top. And so you can kind of see that shimmer. So that was so much fun. So this is from the Beautiful You stamp set, one of my favorites. And let's see, I'm gonna kind of look over here at my comments. Oh my goodness, I am so excited that you guys are on here with me. And I'm so, I'm, I hope that you're enjoying these cards. So the last card that I have to share with you um, that I just loved is from the Artfully Aware stamp set, which is retiring. And the support ribbon framelits, I think they're on sale for 1080 or something. Um, but check out this one. So here I stamped thanks for, thanks for on the banner, on the uh, braid, your support. How fun is that? And then in here, I just, when I thought of thanks for your support, you know, it, it, we need to be surrounded by a village, by our friends and our family and all those that love us. And, um, and so anyway, I stamped the people as many times as I could. So there was lots of people supporting, um, you know, supporting the person receiving this card. And so then on the inside, you know, I did take some Whisper White Baker's Twine and just kind of wrap that around. Um, but I just, this was one of my favorites and I couldn't hardly wait to share it with you. Now, yes, it is a little tricky to stamp the thanks for, and you definitely need the right size stamp. So definitely a little tricky, absolutely doable, and it doesn't have to be perfect. That is the beauty of stamping and being creative and coming up with some different ideas, right? Okay, so let me pull back in some of these ideas and kind of show you, because I kind of showed you how things evolved for me. So this is the card that we did today. And this is where I started, right? And then we have this one. So that's fun right there. And then we have the girl from The Beautiful You and then the Artfully Aware stamp set. And so just lots of different ideas. This is just a plain braid. You know, this is a braid that's been embossed. This is a braid with designer series paper. This one's got some crystal effects to really make it, you know, super fun and kind of have that glossy wet look. And then here we've stamped the banner. So, oh my goodness, what do you guys think? I hope that you guys have enjoyed these cards. I have them up on Brandy's cards. Um, I've got the tutorial up for this card that we just did today. Um, but of course, the braid is the same for all of these. And so I can certainly, um, you know, I can certainly share any other tutorials that you guys would like. Um, oh, I'm so happy that you guys like, like my cards. Thank you, Rosemary. Thank you, Tanya. Oh my goodness, okay. So I am going to jump back over here in just a moment, but before I go, I do want to share one more time that this month's host code gifts are the uh, greenery embossing folders, as well as um, for May, this fantastic 1 4th inch gingham bumblebee. How cool is that? Bumblebee ribbon, and then of course you can choose from these enamel dots. And so those are fantastic. Now, we could have certainly put an enamel dot here, but I went with those um, noble peacock rhinestones because I'm gonna try to get as much love out of those as I can before they're gone. Okay, so I'm gonna pop back over to where you can see me. All right, so I'm coming back over. <laughs> so I have to tell you that um, I'm sitting on a box. <laughs> 
true story. Um, you know, the, my table is so tall that when I sit down, I look like a like I'm really little. So I'm on this box, and so on my tippy toes. <laughs> what we do to try to get in the camera, right? Um, so anyway, thank you guys. I, I, hope that, um, I hope that you enjoyed those cards. I hope you had fun. You should be able to go to brandyscards.com and the template is there. You should be able to download that template and get started making some of these cards and definitely email me and share them with me. You guys are so talented and I love to see your creations. Um, speaking of your creations, I have some of your guys' cards with me now. Hey, Renee. Oh my goodness. Martha. Martha, I emailed you back today. I hope you got your catalog. It's a coming. All right. Deborah. Oh gosh, yes. All right. So this is this first card I'm going to show you is from Carol. And I just thought it was so cute. Check out this card. This one is says, um, let's just roll with it. So fun. It looks like a toilet paper roll, doesn't it? Isn't that cool? And she kind of drew it over here. Carol, that is just too clever and so cute. I love it. This card here is from Kate Barney. And Kate's card says, hey chick, you're a good egg. And I sure do appreciate that. I loved that stamp set. I sure do appreciate that, Kate. And I think you're a pretty darn good egg too. So I was excited to share Kate's card. All right, so the next one, I think, is one of my most favorite designer series papers ever. It was from like maybe five years ago. I think it was a celebration paper. Do you guys remember this? This is like a blast from the past. Amazing paper, I loved it. I loved it, I loved it. Um, FY, voice is off, waiting for catalog. Sandy, can you guys not hear me? All right. Well, I've got my IT man working with me, so he's going to work on that. Um, so let me know if you guys can, can hear me. Um, all right, so this one is from, this one's from Carol. Look at Carol's beautiful card. I love that, and look how it opens. Oh, so cute, absolutely love it. And this is the Love What You Do DSP. Oh, I'm sad that's, going away, but it's so beautiful, so beautiful. All right, so this one is Patricia Sigsby, and I just thought that was so fun. Those are one of those um, cards where the letters pop out. Oh, I just thought that was so neat, and just, oh, I have not tried a card like that, but I am totally inspired, and I am going to do that. This card I thought was really elegant, and I love just the simple layout. This one's from Edith. Edith, thank you for sending me this card. So pretty, so, so pretty. And if you guys can see all the different gems, I just thought that added so much. Just really nice, nice touch and nice sparkle. Okay, somebody says they can hear me just fine. I appreciate that, thank you, Susan. Um, okay, so this one's from Cindy Garland. And so you guys know last, um, last week I shared the Hold On To Hope stamp set, which is the stamp set that I um, had the privilege of designing several years ago and sharing that's getting ready to retire. Um, and so uh, Cindy sent me this card and I am super excited about it. And I will save that. Is that not just so pretty? Love it. And so that is from that stamp set. So the cards that I've received from that set, I've actually kept them with the stamp set. And um, I'm just excited to have those. All right, wash your hands and say your prayers because germs and Jesus are everywhere. How cute is that? That's from Kathy Hayworth. Um, I'm not sure where, you know, what stamp set that is, but that is so cute, Kathy. I absolutely love it. Love it. What a cute little saying and a precious little girl. I think that's what she said on the inside was that little girl just makes me smile. All right, I have one more card for you. This one's from Denise Streitman and Denise, this card is stunning, so thank you so much. And I think this is one that I just got today. And um, so pretty, right? And you know, what I love is we can learn so much from each other. And so I love receiving your cards. So let's see if I have any comments in here. Can you, um, can hear you, but the scene from 
singing in the rain where, <laughs> where there's a lag between my voice and the actual speaking. Hmm. No, no lag. No lag. Okay. Awesome. 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 Okay. So I appreciate you guys stopping by. I want to remind you that um, we have opened up our Creative 8 retreat registration. So excited about that. I have started creating and I have to zip it. I can't tell you any of the details of what I'm creating to share for the event um, because what happens is, is I start creating and I get super excited and then I want to share it with you like right now. Um, so, but I have to, you know, I, it's for the event. I'm really excited. So our Creative 8 Summer Retreat is July 11th and it is going to be a full day of crafting, but um, you know, not to worry. You certainly don't have to sit there all day and craft with us, although many of you did <laughs> and I did too, um, but it is so much fun and we, we have a private Facebook um, retreat page where we're gonna be sharing on the hour. And we've got lots of fun tutorials and have got so much, uh, so many things planned for you. So we're really excited about that. So those of you that have registered, thank you for doing so. And thank you for choosing me um, as your demonstrator and registering with me. I truly appreciate that. Um, and if you haven't registered and you would like to join us, just go over to brandyscards.com and in the top where it says shop, you're gonna click on that and then you'll see the Creative 8 Retreat um, link to to purchase that and I want to tell you catalogs are coming I promise you they are Stampin' Up! has promised us that they've shipped them by the 10th of May and it just takes a little while with that bulk rate um, you know the post office can kind of hold on to it so depending on how busy your post office is it might take a few extra days so I'm just asking for your patience and I'm telling you that they are coming and the catalog is gonna go live, I believe, on June. Let me see, is it June 3rd? No, let's see. Yes, June 3rd, 2020. And so this is the cover of the catalog. It's absolutely fantastic. Unfortunately, I can't open it and show it to you yet, um, but um, it is pretty awesome. And everybody, uh, oh, you're gonna love it. Oh my goodness. My husband always says, now do you tell those ladies it's a slippery slope? <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I should say. Um, meaning that, you know, you open it up and there's so many wonderful projects and ideas and your head is just spinning and, um, and your wish list grows, right? It does that for all of us. But that is, um, that's the beauty of crafting is that you can use any stamp set that you want, pick out the colors that you have off your wall and just get creative, right? All right, you got your catalog, Lisa. That makes me happy. Well, I'm sending big hugs to you guys. Thank you guys for joining me. How about we meet up again next Thursday, May 28th at 7 p.m. Who's in? <laughs> Who's gonna join me? Anybody? You guys gonna join me? Yeah? See if I get a couple of comments. I'm gonna be here with or without y'all. I'm gonna share some more projects. I have had so much fun doing this, so. Um, I will absolutely be back next Thursday, May 28th at 7 p.m. Same time, same place. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you get notifications. And again, not only do you want to subscribe, but you want to click that bell, <laughs> that bell in the top corner um, so that you know when I go live. All right. I see some people. I'm in. That's awesome. Yay! <laughs> that makes my heart so happy. Thank you guys for joining me today. I just appreciate you being here. Thank you so much for the opportunity to help you earn your business. Thank you for being on my team. God bless everybody. And until next time, 